all right. I'm waiting for my stomach to return from outer space. Uh, hello, Commissioner. Hello, Mel. You're looking fine. Yeah, that's what the doctors keep telling me. I'm sorry, I don't know why I'm popping off at you. Forget it. Now, gentlemen, as to why we're here. This is a five gram vial of a rare earth called yttrium. Now, yttrium, like radium and phosphorus, is phosphorescent. Now, if you could buy it, this vial would cost, oh, around $7,000. However, since our government uses all the available supply, it's priceless. Hmm. The problem, then, is who is stealing the government's yttrium and why? We know who's stealing it. Well, what you want to know is who is it going to and for what purpose? Obviously, there are others besides our own government who are interested in this simple process for recovering uranium. Yttrium is very vital to this process. Mr. Olson, I'd like you to meet Mr. William Barton. He's just flown in from the home office in Philadelphia. He has a couple of questions to ask you. How do you do? How do you do? Mr. Martin, if there's anything else I can do for you, I'll be in my office. Mr. Olson, I don't wish to alarm you unduly, but there's a discrepancy in the inventory of your high-priority chemicals. There is? Well, we're, we're all human. Maybe they made a mistake down in inventory. Uh, look, uh, Mr. Martin, uh, just make yourself at home. I'll be right back. I told you they'd catch up with us. You had no right to make me do it. Oh, darling. Now, I'd say I had a perfect right to ask you to do almost anything. Look, calm down and go back in there. He's, he's just another little man with a stinking little job trying to appear like a big shot. All you have to do is tell him he's made a mistake in his figures. But they're not mistakes. I doctored those figures. Look, this is our last chance. Let's get away right now. We can't go. Not just yet. That's what you said before. Look, Arthur. If you don't go back in there, he's really going to be suspicious. I won't go back unless you keep your promise. All right. Tonight, we'll take a plane. We'll go to Mexico. I'll get the tickets this afternoon. You won't be sorry. I promise. 